What's up guys, my name is TechNumber here for Troubleshoots and today I've got a super in-depth video that you may find useful. This is quite difficult to follow because we're messing around with Linux. This is actually Debian that we're working on over here inside of a Hyper-V virtual machine. So following along exactly will be quite important. But if you get confused at any point, don't worry. Just go ahead and reverse. Look at the description down below for the commands that I use in this. That's about it. So first of all, I'll press start, open up a new terminal. We'll go ahead and enter su to enter super user, enter our password and then we'll be installing Samba. If you have it installed, you can check by running sudo Samba space hyphen hyphen version and hitting enter. If you see a response like this, then great. If you see a response like this, when you run it with sudo, then it's not installed. To do that, we'll simply run apt hyphen get space install Samba, as well as apt hyphen get install space Samba hyphen client. And we've installed both of them running sudo samba space hyphen hyphen version should return a samba version. So next up, let's create a place that we're going to mount this. So I'll create a new folder inside of media called share. So I'll do sudo mkdir slash media slash followed by the name of the folder. Now this can be anything you want. And when you open up your file explorer, it'll be listed on the side over here. So in Windows, if I navigate to where my shared files are, these are the two folders that I'm currently sharing, and I'm going to be mounting at downloads hyphen shared. So you can call it anything you want, but I'll be calling this downloads hyphen shared, just to have the same name as a mounting point on this computer, and it'll mount to this. Of course, whatever name you give it here, it doesn't really matter. You just need to remember it later. Then we need to install a few more things. So we'll do sudo apt get install followed by cifs hyphen utils so sifs utils hit enter and that'll install then we're also going to be running a sudo apt get install lib nss hyphen winbind space winbind enter and that'll also install now that we have everything installed that we need installed let's simply go ahead and start editing files so i'll be running nano space slash etc slash ns switch dot conf. You'll then see a file like this pop up. Simply use the arrow keys to navigate down to hosts, control a right arrow to skip through words, or just hold the right arrow. And right before DNS over here, we'll be entering WINS space so that the line looks like hosts, files, MDNS4, minimal, not found, return, wins, DNS, followed by whatever else is there. Then I'll hit control O to write the file, enter, Control X to close it. And if I were to run the command again, you can see it's successfully been edited and saved. Control X to close it again if you opened it up. And all we need to do now is restart our networking service. So sudo service networking restart, enter. Then we're gonna go ahead and mount the actual drive. So I'll run sudo space cp to copy slash etc slash fstab space slash etc slash fstab dot old. This is simply making a backup just in case something goes wrong. If you ever need to restore it to this copied version, simply run sudo mv to move slash etc fstab dot old slash etc slash fstab. And this will restore the backup into the original file. Of course, I won't be running that, so I'll get rid of that entirely. Then we need to go ahead and create a file where we can store our Windows credentials so that we can log it into this file share. If you try connect to the shared folder via another computer, you'll be asked for a username and password in order to access these files and folders. Of course, on Linux, we need to do the same. So instead of writing it into the command line every time, we'll simply create a file that we can mount it to. Note this is a permanent mount, so every time you start up Linux, it should be mounting and using the same username and password. If you ever need to change it, you can change it inside of this file and it should update. So all I'll be doing is I'll type in nano space slash home slash followed by your username. So mine's technobo slash. And then inside of this folder, we'll be creating something called dot SMB cred, which will be our credentials for logging in. Of course, you can name this file anything you want, but this is what I'll be calling it. Hit enter. And then we simply need to add a username equals followed by your Windows username. You can check that by pressing start hitting the burger button at the top, and you'll see your Windows username down here. So mine's Technobo. Enter, new line password equals followed by your Windows password in plain text, unfortunately. Control O to save it. Enter, 
Control X, and we're done creating the file that holds our Windows username and password. Then we need to find out what our UID and GID is. So all we'll be doing is typing in ID space followed by your username, and you'll find UID equals a number in brackets, whatever your username or group is. So mine's UID 1000 Technobo, GID 1000 Technobo. If you created a virtual machine and this is your only user, then it's more than likely 1000 as mine is. So from here, we'll be running sudo nano space slash etc slash fstab, which is the file we backed up earlier, enter to go inside of it, and you'll see something that looks like this. Using our down arrow key to reach the very bottom of the file, I'll be entering slash slash, followed by the Windows computer's IP, which has the shared files inside. So to find out the local IP, I'll be running cmd IP config. My local IP is 192.168.1.20. So inside of my virtual machine, I'll be typing in 192.168.120 slash followed by the name of the shared folder. So for me, it is downloads shared. Downloads shared. And this is on the Windows side. Then I'll be doing space slash media slash the name of the folder, which we called it downloads hyphen shared. But of course, if you named it something different, you'll put that name in here. Space CIFS space credentials equals slash home slash followed by your username slash dot SMB cred, which is the file we created storing our Windows credentials, comma IO char set equals UTF eight comma GID equals followed by our GID, which was 1000 comma UID equals 1000 comma file underscore mode equals O triple seven comma DIR underscore mode equals O triple seven space zero space zero enter to go into a new line just for easy access of this file later control O enter control X of course if you get confused that this will be down in the description below for you to go ahead and read and do yourself all we need to do from here is run sudo mount space hyphen a and the folder will now be mounted so looking at our file explorer, you can see the folder that we created on the side over here called downloads shared. Inside of it are all the files that we have shared from our Windows PC, and you can explore and access the files as you should be able to. If I create a folder here, head back into our Windows side, you can see the folder exists and is working perfectly. Delete it here, refresh it with F5, and the folder gets deleted here. Now, of course, I'll be blurring it out because there's some files on that that I don't want people seeing. Either way, if we head across to other locations, you can see downloads shared is also there. And there's also a new Windows network option down here, which we'll be ignoring. Anyways, that's about it. We've now successfully mounted a Windows file share inside of Debian over a local network. Adding another folder is as simple as running sudo nano etc fstab yet again, and typing in another line that looks basically exactly the same as the one above it, except you're changing out the folder over here, the local one and the foreign one on the other computer. That's basically the only difference. Once you've done that, save this file, just make sure that you run mkdir and create the actual folder, so slash media slash dl box, this is the one I'm mounting now. And once you've done that, you basically have the second folder also mounted and you can simply just switch between them. Simply run sudo mount space hyphen A to reload everything and the mounts should now be working. If you were to restart your Debian computer, they'll still be working as well. Of course, if you'd like to do this over multiple networks, you'd need to port forward and stuff like that. This is the basics. Again, all of the commands are down in the description below. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.